the vehicle they were traveling in caught fire. The kids were said to be returning from school when the accident happened at Hu, a farming community in the Amansi Central District of the Ashanti region. Ibrahim Abubakar is a correspondent who is following up on this unfortunate story. He's joining us for some updates on the situation. Ibrahim, a very sad morning there it is in the Ashanti region in the community. Tell us more. Today is Thursday, not um, a very good day for residents of um, Hu and Eugenasi. In fact, they, these kids um, reside in Eugenasi, uh, which is um, um, five kilometers away from Hu, but then they attend school in Hu. So yesterday, um, when they closed from school, usually they have um, a school bus that conveys them to and from and their destination. Mm. So yesterday around 4 p.m., when they were about going back to a Genesee, and their vehicle broke down, and this bus that caught fire was from Boise. It got to who? It's a passenger 207, but it got to who? And passengers alighted, and it was left with only two passengers who were going to a Genesee. So the headmaster of the school and beginners education complex pleaded with the driver to transport these six children to a genasi. Just when they uh, joined the uh, vehicle, in fact, they were even offloading some items. Then the bus caught fire. Within some few minutes, it exploded. Now, when it caught fire, the two passengers on board managed to come out. And some residents also around joined hands to rescue the six and kids who were in the bus, they managed to pull out three of them, but unfortunately, the other three um, lost their lives because the flames intensified. Apparently, the bus was carrying petroleum products in them. Um, we had diesel and gallons of diesel and petrol that were on the career of the 207 bus, and others were also in the boot. He was transporting those items to a genasi when this unfortunate incident happened. So as we speak, um, officially three of the children have been bent beyond recognition, and the bus driver is also in the hands of the police assisting them with investigation. And these kids are within the ages of, within the age bracket of five to seven. So these, these three kids, they are all in the same school, I believe, Ibrahim? Exactly. They all attend beginners' education Complex. In fact, there were there were six of them. The headmaster was saying ten of these kids usually from a genasi come to school at Hu, but yesterday only six of them were in school. So after the vehicle broke broke down, he decided to plead with the 207 driver to transport the remaining six to a genasi, and that's how this unfortunate incident. And even out of the three who died. Um, two were related, and one was also with a different family. Mm. So for, for the school and the, uh, their colleagues uh, in the school, how are they taking this development? What, what has the headmaster to been saying concerning this? Well, they are all down to spirit. In fact, today, um, because of the incident, most of the kids even didn't come to school. Um, so it's kind of a free day for them. Um, they are mourning their colleagues and the headmaster himself is um, a bit distraught because he is also putting the blame on himself because he had to plead with a driver to transport these kids to a genesis. So for now, the police has come in, they've begun with investigation and um, that, that, like I said, the driver is also assisting them um, in investigation. So now the bodies, the child bodies, have been deposited at the morgue. In fact, out of the six um, school children, one also was injured in the process of coming out. He sustained some bends, uh, not, not that severe, and at the moment, he is receiving treatment at the hospital. How about the families of the, of the affected uh, children, Ibrahim? Well, um, most of them, in fact, they are even yet to come to terms with what has happened. Some, some of them don't even want to believe that they have lost these kids. And it's, it's mourning all over. They are unable to even 
speak to people because of the situation they find themselves in. So family, friends have um, come to them just to make sure that they console them and um, they look at the way forward.